Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin chart for you all here and giving you all the most important support and resistance levels that I'll be trading from on Bitcoin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one, it's going to be very important, informative <laughs> and uh, yeah let's dive straight into the charts because it's going to be a great one. So here we go, uh, with the starting diagonal. Okay, so this was obviously a really, really great prediction because we were looking at this for our 33333. OK, and moving up for this final leg of the C here, uh, you can see like what we were looking at in the time. OK, so we were looking for this A, B, C. And we, the predictions of this was great because we got that move up for the A where we were looking for. For when we were looking for the move down for the B, we got the move down to the B exactly where we were looking for again. And then up for this C. You can see how that has played out where well, we have moved up to around this daily level still where we maintain around now. So now the question is, is, is the move over? Is this the high now in? We obviously have bounced off a bit of critical uh, resistance here. So we are at really big resistance. Let's not forget that. But currently, as it stands, the trend is still bullish. OK, so you have to time entries really well. Um, so I would say at the moment, like shorts are more scalp trades until we lose a little bit of market structure, get acceptance back into the previous range. Uh, there's no reason to think that this, you know, currently as it stands, there's no reason to think why we cannot push up another leg here. Um, so now I'll go over some really, for me anyway, important support and resistance levels more on a local term time frame. So I really liked yesterday's trading, OK, because what happened yesterday's trading, ignore all of this on the chart. So if you just ignore this bit on the chart here, OK, so sorry if I just circle, if you ignore this, what happened yesterday to get a lot of people bearish again? And it was this quick move to the downside, OK? So we had this really quick move to the downside here, OK? So price built its way up consolidated really quick rejection and after this really really quick rejection to the downside what did we do we took some really important lows and we had a lot of shorts building up this is what i love i absolutely love it because the way the psychology in the market works you get a really big move to the downside like this or really quick move to the downside and people suddenly start entering shorts at market okay people panic they close their longs and they go into shorts thinking this is the start of the breakdown and these were my words yesterday from the chat. OK, so over in the champions group, um, you know, this was, you know, minutes after we had just had that drop to the downside. I was saying, you know, I do have the f the feeling that we're going to push up again, up, up again here because we have not lost any support as well as the fact, uh, you know, we had a lot of trapped traders at the lows. OK, so all we done was we moved down, bounced off point of control, you know, trapped all those traders on the low of the wick. And uh, it's basically just like an absolute perfect recipe to give you another increase in price. OK, so that was this this uh, section here. Where you can see we had that long wick to the downside, never really lost support. And again, we pushed up. So, you know, that was obviously a really good long position. And I still hold 40 percent of that uh, long position from last night. Um, I guess yesterday afternoon, uh, because for me, it was just like, a, yeah, a really perfect long opportunity. There was, you know, kind of, now is getting a bit more different, but it's just like the thought process. You know, you can get into my brain here. I'm seeing what, my, what am I seeing? Why am I going long where uh, a lot of people are suddenly going short? It's just because we've all we've done here is a liquidity run into a really high support into an area of really big trap traders. They're all offside. We're going to push this to the upside. I was always looking for these highs to be taken. And that's exactly what we done last night. So then I guess I can move on to, um, yeah, that, that was obviously one really nice prediction. I'll move on to this other one that I done. Well, where the high, okay, so the high, uh, this is now a still really big resistance for you all, okay? And I'll show you from my last um, trading updates. And these are available, by the way, to the champions, the contenders and the players. But the last trading update that I gave on the 24th, so this is now three days ago, okay, The because I only do the Monday to Friday. And the, uh, tr the key horizontal resistance that I gave was 7,837, okay? So I literally, three days in advance, have given that as the resistance level. Have a guess where we bounced off of last night? $7,836.50. If we round that up, have a guess what the key level we bounced off of was? 7,837. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that. And that obviously still remains our high. That does still remain our high there. As you can see, $7,836.50. The key resistance that I gave, I'm gonna I'm proud of this one. So I'll I'll, I'll repeat it again, was 7,837. So how amazingly perfect is that being able to call three days in advance where the high to the exact dollar was going to be. Um, and I'll do a refresh because I, I know people love to say, Daniel, you're a Photoshopper. There you go. I mean, there you go. 
Uh, so clearly that was great, and we also had people in the group uh, shorting the exact, uh, well, pretty much the exact high, 7834. We now set at 7,700. 7, I mean, absolutely brilliant. Um, and emphasizing this, patience is key. Absolutely it is. But in my opinion, this is still only good for more of a sculpt trade. Yeah, you can have uh, you can have resting orders at, obviously, uh, these sort of really big levels. But at the end of the day, until we really lose market structure, it should be more of a sculpt short trade because we can definitely push on a gain higher here. So where I'm looking at as a key resistance, for, for me... Uh, yeah, we obviously have this daily 7,939, and then I'm looking if we clear this all the way up to 8,200, okay, so 8,200 really big resistance in my opinion, and then in terms of support, we're looking at really 7,550, and then if we lose that obviously down to this weekly and yearly open being a massive, massive crucial support, if you lose yearly open, I feel it's kind of game over in the, uh, in the short term here for Bitcoin and we'll see much lower prices, so those are for me some key supports. 7550, 7350, then 7163 being the yearly open. Uh, and then in the resistance, yeah, obviously we still have that, you know, crucial resistance that we do have right now that really needs to be claimed. Otherwise, it's, it's you know, head down from here. But I do feel as well this is a bit of a easy short. I mean, it's not really a difficult short. I feel it's a bit of a crowded short. So I feel that there's... Yeah, I, I personally would, would like to see one more push to the upside again here, just because I feel it's such an easy short position to have taken here, um, and I'd like to punish them. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how that trades out. We can see a little bit of a triangle going on right now, so we can see the symmetrical triangle that we're getting. So we could, what we could say is wait to see how this breaks. Okay, so you can kind of see this along here. Okay, oh, I hate the tr the magnet tool on this website, literally. Uh, but you can see this kind of forming here, so we can see how this symmetrical triangle breaks. Does it break to the upside or to the downside? Um, yeah, and that's kind of like how I will maintain trading this for the rest of the day. So I've still got 40% of my short open. I'm, I will switch uh, into a short if we actually break some key supports here. But as it stands at the moment in time, uh, yeah, I did enter a, a sculpt short. <laughs> you know, I did enter a sculpt short off of the rejection, but I've already closed out of that. And I'm more interested in um, maintaining what was like kind of a swing long, okay, uh, into the rest of the day and I'll see how it goes obviously if we break down from this symmetrical triangle then I, yeah, I'll probably switch into a short position but um, yeah I'll see how that goes and uh, maintain my viewpoint on this and um, yeah I guess I'll just end with um, uh, actually I'll go over these in another video there's no need for me to do that today and uh, yeah I guess you hope you've enjoyed this video I've given you some really important, like, massive support and resistance levels that you just, you know, personally anyway, I'm going to be trading off of them. I feel they're crucially important. Uh, again, this video is not financial advice. If you don't know how to do these charts, if you really are intrigued how I managed to get these resistances to the exact, well, pretty much 50, 50 cent off the exact dollars of the highs, how I'm able to in the time tell, okay, tell that at this drop, we were still very likely to push on again where most people are panicking. I'm staying calm and collected, giving my opinions to the group and trading it out once again for profits. So if you're interested in those sort of insights, uh, then obviously you can come across to uh, chartchampions.com. Uh, where you can see all my insights and how I'm expecting Bitcoin to trade, etc. Um, yeah feel free to come across and join us happy to show that because you know it's absolutely worth it so um yeah cheers everybody hope that you have a brilliant day uh, i'm going to be very much glued <laughs> to this chart trading it i'm absolutely loving it at the moment so yeah i'm going to be around all day trading this and uh yeah i guess keep an eye on the es okay so the futures uh this is currently up slightly so we can actually expect this correlation to kind of continue if the, if, <laughs> if, it, if it wants so uh yeah keep a keep a key, key eye on gold i suppose keep an eye on the uh, stock market us open and uh, we'll keep a, you know, just a close eye on how this pattern trades out here. Uh, so, yeah, cheers, everybody. Have a brilliant one. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Cheers and goodbye. Bye.